to get a be better impression, I've uh, retraced the shear bands. And we can here clearly see that the shear bands start in the material um, and end in the material. Mismatches can be seen here. And um, so it, it's not um, always the same. They start from the outside and run to the inside. So it's very different. Everything can happen there. Um, in order to get a better impression of that, we have made a series of um, cross sections and put them together to a film. So here you see the, the first cross section. We are in the border of the chip. And we have a distance between the um, sections of 100, 100 microns. And when I now start the film, we move through the chip. And I would like you to take a focus on the, ah, great, on the position of the shear band, because they are changing and they disappear and appear. So we are in the border now. And we'll come now to the representative middle of the chip. And see here are the shear bands. And now here in the middle, there are two shear bands which are very clearly um, able to be seen. And they will now disappear, like this. So the process is very three-dimensional. And also here, it's a part um, where um, the minimum chip thickness was very low. And now it's very big here. So there's very much changing all over the chip bits. So all the pictures have been adjusted. So that um, always um, the very um, same position is here in the film. And now we come to the other border and get out of the chip 